Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, August 10th, 2011. And taking a look at gold right now, we were up 2.16% uh, today, uh, just roaring forward the last couple of weeks here uh, on uh, volumes that are way above average here. Uh, we had one uh, sort of reversal day here um, on big volume, but then quickly recovered. And uh, never really breaching this uh, gray line here, which is the 10-day moving average, which has held the move all the way up since breaking out here in about the 1560 range. And looking now at a weekly chart of gold, uh, we can see that uh, so far this week we're up 7.19%. And I drew a line across some tops here to get uh, a channel, uh, and, uh, and then uh, took that line and uh, duplicated it and pulled it down and uh, to the lower lows here. And you can see that we're way above this upper channel line. And uh, markets that do this have a tendency to pull back uh, into the channel. So uh, that would put uh, pullbacks here into around uh, the sub uh, $1,700 range. And looking now at silver, we can see that we're stuck between a trading range here at this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and this red line here, which is the 21-day moving average. And you can see this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, which has been holding prices as well. Uh, volume uh, today was on the light side. Uh, we did go up a 4.18%. And on a weekly chart, we can see silver is up 2.5%, uh, uh, finding support here at this blue line, which is the 10-week moving average. And it uh, looks like it's getting support here also at the 20-week moving average, the uh, green dotted line. And of course, silver had this big run up here uh, at the beginning of the year and topped out here in late April at uh, just shy of $50 and it had a massive pullback. Very scary. Now we're sort of building a base uh, coming back up. Now looking at stocks, uh, we all know that, uh, that stocks have been getting battered. Uh, here is a uh, chart of the SPY, which is the uh, S&P 500 uh, index. And uh, it's an exchange traded fund that trades that. And it's down 6.5% uh, for the week. And we have taken out all the previous lows of the year. It came back here in March, uh, uh, slicing uh, this 20-day uh, moving average briefly, rallying back up, coming back down, uh, slicing through the 20-day and getting support at the, I'm sorry, the 20-week and getting support at the 40-week here. Rallied back up to just short of a new high. And then has now collapsed, taking out all moving averages and the previous lows made during the year on exceptionally heavy volume. So stocks are essentially in free fall. And here is a weekly chart of the GDX. This tracks uh, the gold miners, uh, the gold mining stocks, um, up 7%. I don't like this chart, though. It's a very noisy back and forth chart, and it has been uh, essentially all year. Um, these kind of charts can really whip you around and, and cost you money, uh, even though we've been up 7% this week. I, I'm not really trusting it. Uh, the volume was heavy, but not as heavy as uh, the down day, although we do have a couple more trading sessions in the week. So. Uh, watching watching the gold stocks, um, not really uh, convinced of uh, any kind of a breakout move yet. So it looks like uh, uh, this week uh, gold is uh, is is a winner here, and uh, stocks of course uh, are in a nasty nasty downtrend. And uh, bottom fishing here is very dangerous, uh, as uh, some traders have found out. Yesterday we had a, a, a huge rally, and today of course uh, the Dow was down over 500 points again. So. Um, not, uh, it's not something I want to be involved in, so sitting on the sidelines.